Bro, it's been 25 days since I last uploaded a video. I hope I remember the intro. Let's get it. Sneakers, not sneakers, everything in between. It's your boy, it's your old boy, it's Trady, it's Mr. How I Look coming to you live and direct from the office. And y'all already know what it is, man. Your boy has been off for a little while, but if you are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that thumbs up if you like what you see. Leave comments in the comment section. You know, your boy is always in the comment section. I might be a little bit late in this case, it's been a while, but I'll still be in the comment section. Now, before I get too deep into this video, y'all already see this hat right here, man. It is the Cash Cow hat. Shouts out to Goran Brothers. That's where I got this hat from. Shouts out to Valiant Pursuit for this shirt right here. This is the Compete shirt right here. Now, if you look in the description down below, you can find the discount code for both of these products per se. You can go to their websites, man, and use my discount codes. You can find some more discount codes in the description down below as well, man. It's not just these right here, but you already know what it is, man. Now, like I said before, man, I have not done a video, man, and partly, not partly, but really because June was dry, bro. Y'all know really nothing came out in June. The only thing that I really just really wanted in June was the Wash Black Air Jordan 1s. And y'all know right now, man, Jordan 1s are not the move. But I love it because Jordan 1s are my favorite silhouette. So, I like that they're sitting, bro. I can't lie. I like that they're sitting. But there was nothing really coming out in June, man. So, there was no need for me to go to the mall and try to pick up anything. Now, they have recently done restocks on a few things they did restocks on the chicago twos they did a shock drop on the unc blue toe unc toe they did a shock drop on the unc to chicago air jordan one low that was a women's exclusive um, but they have been doing like just random little restocks bro and hopefully y'all have been able to cop uh if you missed out on something but there was nothing that i really missed out on that i just really needed but Today I am here because I was able to go and pick up bam, these right here. Shouts out to Shoe Palace. Now these have actually been released like a couple of weeks ago, but not everybody put them out on their shelves. So, and JD Sports had them as well, but they just didn't have my size either. And I did hit on Hibbets for these joints, but I was able to pick them up early. So I left the pair at Hibbets because I really just did not need two pairs of these joints, man. So shouts out to Shoe Palace. Let's go ahead and get into this shoe right quick. Here it is right here. As you can see, this is a Nike box. This is not a Jordan box, but this is a Nike box. Orange, white lettering. Y'all already know what it is. Now these are the Nike Dunk Low Retro PRM. I have no clue what PRM stands for, but this is my size, 10 and a half, and these retailed for $120. It was $129.89. Check my fact. $129.89 after tax, bro. So right here, as you can see, this is the size tag right there. Now let's go ahead and check these joints out. Bam, there it is right there, man. These are the Dunk Lows Chicago Splits. These joints are fire to me, man. Now, you have to let me know in the comment section, were you able to get these joints? Because I know the release date on these was the 14th of July, but a lot of places released theirs early, so these have actually been on shelves. Now, another thing is, are Dunk Lows not the move anymore are they not the wave anymore now i understand if they are a like a collaboration or if it's a sb or something like that them things won't sit on the shelves at all i mean they don't even go to the shelves man they're just released and then they're gone but 
general release dunk lows, man. Like before in the past, like in 2022, like 2021, man, bro, you couldn't get your hands on a dunk low general release, man. You just had to be at the right place at the right time type deal. But now you can walk in JD Sports and see your pandas right there sitting on the shelves or you can see any dunk low, I'm just like, I'm, I'm drawing a blank in my mind as far as, you know, names go. But dunk lows, man, you can go in the store and see them and just pick you up a pair. Right here are the Chicago splits the dunk low chicago splits as you can see right here these have like a little bit of tumbled leather on that red right there and you know what now that i'm looking at it i see tumbled leather on this part of the swoosh but the black part of the swoosh is a flat uh leather but tumbled leather on the gray part flat black here and it's kind of like there's a small bit of tumbled leather. I know y'all probably can't see that. I'm trying to give y'all a good picture, but there is a small bit of tumbled leather on the side paneling in white. And this is actually pretty soft, bro. The toe box is actually pretty soft. It does kind of favor a little bit of tumbled leather right there. And then of course you have your tumbled leather going around the toe cap right there. In red, you have a midsole that is aged looking. So it's done in that off-white color, uh, which is nice, man. The outsole is done in black as well as gray. So here you have that Chicago split. I guess this is where that name comes into play. Uh, Nike down there. Now, one thing that I do actually like about this, man, is the aged tongue right there, man. So as you can see, this looks like a pearl, like an off-white uh, white on that tongue. And then, oh, this is pretty cool. The split goes down the tag in here and the KE is done in the normal Nike uh, bold lettering, the block lettering, and then the NI is done in cursive. Uh, and then of course you have the split right there. Now, cursive, you ask. If you're young, you may not know what cursive is. Ask your parents. You got Nike on the back and as you can see the gray is done in the block lettering and the black is done in the cursive so it does spell Nike it's just a little bit different bro but I like that I like that touch on oh, look and it's on the inside as well so you have that same effect on the inside but you have a white insole right here red liner which is dope black laces of course I did not mention that before but black laces I like that aged midsole, bro. I, I really, really like that. Let me take out the other shoe just so I can look at it really quick. All right, here is the right shoe. And as you can see, it comes with a spare pair of white laces. This is nice, man. Uh, dunks normally don't come with a spare pair of laces. I'm not a huge dunk person, so I'm really, really not sure. But um, the ones that I have, they don't come with a spare pair of laces, bro. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, man, the tongue is lined with red as well. So I like when they do the tongue like that, man. You see that line in red? That's pretty dope, man. But these, these are nice, man. And they are definitely a better quality than your pandas or your other dunk lows. Now take these for example right here. These are the UNLV dunks. And it's just like, I won't say that they're bad quality, but it's just flat leather. And you can tell, man, when you wear these joints, they're just going to crease up and they're, they're just going to look bad, bro. But these are still DS. Matter of fact, I'm going to end up just selling these joints right here, bro. But still, man, these compared to what we have right here, like you said, man, like I said, you can see the tumbled leather right there on the back. But on these, man, it's just like a flat. And you can see all of the light little indentions and stuff like that. And so the quality, definitely better on these than these right here. Even though I know this is a little bit more hype shoe. But I did really want these, man, just because I did not get the, like, the 75th, the anniversary ones, whatever those were, like the Chicago Dunk Lows. Um, I'm pretty sure people will put sale laces in these just because of that midsole cell laces would probably make these joints actually pop a little bit better but black white laces definitely nothing wrong with that man y'all have to let me know in the comment section were you able to pick these joints up or did you just pass all together on these man because i know dunk lows are not really the wave anymore right now man and that was a quick wave that was fast bro 
unless they're like a collab or an SB or something like that, people are not really like running to the stores to get these joints, man. But in the comment section, let me know what you think about these joints right here, man. Your boy is about to get out of here. So with all of that being said, it's Mr. How I Look signing off. I'm going to see y'all when I see you. Holla.